Taking care of a kitten is a tremendous responsibility and requires some specialized knowledge. New cat parents, listen up. We have tips that will equip you with the best tools to responsibly care for your new feline babies. Number 11, preparing your home properly. Just like when a newborn comes home, you need to prepare your home for your new kitten. So kitten proofing is an important first step in becoming a cat guardian. The best time to do this is before you bring them home. Kittens are full of energy and curious and fearless. Prepare your home to keep kitty away from the dangers that lurk within most homes. Here are just a few of the most common dangers. You know your home the best, so you may have others that you should keep them away from. Let's start with removing hazardous items from their reach. Curious baby kittens will explore every nook and cranny of everywhere that they gain access to. Make sure to remove small items that they can swallow secure electrical cords, and keep toxic plants out of their reach. You should also watch out for other toxic things like cleaning supplies and pesticides. You don't want to be rushing your new baby kitten to the vet because they ingested poison. Secure your windows and your balconies. Your new baby will be searching for new adventures, and your home is a whole new world for them to explore. Make sure that all windows and balconies are secured to prevent your kitten from accidentally escaping or falling. Even your adult cats love to play with string. String is fine to be played with as long as you're supervising your cats and you're playing together, but can be very dangerous if left unsupervised and somehow your kitten swallows it. Hide or secure cords from blinds, curtains, and electronics from them. Lastly, let's focus on setting up a comfortable space where your new kitten can be comfortable. This space should include all of the essential items they need, starting with a litter box, food and water bowls, and a comfortable bed. Place the litter box in a quiet, accessible area away from their food bowls. Make sure to introduce them to it on day one. Fill it with litter that is of good quality, unscented, clumping litter so that your kitten can easily bury their business if that's what they want to do. Provide clean, shallow dishes for their food and water. Try not to use plastics for cat dishes, as many cats develop acne from that plastic. Metal and ceramic bowls are easier to clean and won't pick up any odors that a porous plastic might. For bedding, create a cozy bed made with soft blankets in a safe, quiet corner where your kitten can feel secure to rest. You can create your own bedding or buy one of the many commercially available beds. Get all that done and you're ready to bring your new baby home. Number 10, setting up a consistent feeding routine. It's important to do your research and understand what quality foods mean for your cat. Unfortunately, many of the popular cat brands that we see advertised on TV can be some of the least nutritious foods that you can feed your new kitten. Learn about cat nutrition at all stages of life and what you have questions about. Drop them down in the comments below or simply ask your vet. Unlike their adult counterparts, kittens need to eat more frequently than adult cats, so it's best to provide them with smaller, more frequent meals. Start with three to four meals a day. Cats are creatures of habit, so consistency is important. Stick to a regular feeding schedule to establish a routine and predictability for your kitten. Number nine, setting up a healthcare routine. Regular veterinary care is essential to assure your kitten's health. If you adopt from a breeder, you'll get a kitten at about three months old. So much of what we'll talk about here will have already been taken care of by the breeder before you bring them home. But let's assume that you're adopting a baby kitten from a friend whose cat has had a litter and you're getting them earlier than that. Schedule an initial vet visit within the first week of bringing your kitten home. The vet will conduct an overall physical examination and check for any health issues. Your doctor will set up a schedule of vaccines that you'll need to protect your kitten from common feline diseases. It's important to start a relationship with a vet as quickly as possible so that if you have any kind of emergency with your kitten, you'll already have an established relationship with a vet who is familiar with your kitten. A fact of life with raising any animal is flea and tick control. My cats were raised completely indoors and I've never had any issues with them contracting parasites. But if you plan to have your cat spend a lot of time outdoors, you'll want to use a vet recommended flea and tick preventative to protect your kitten. Finally, it's important to make a decision on having your kitten spay or neutered. The best advice out there is to make sure that you get this done. 
unless you're absolutely sure that you're going to want to breed your cat. There are many benefits associated with getting your cats fixed. Chief among them are personality benefits and a longer life expectancy. A breeder will do this as early as three months old, right before you pick them up. Number eight, socializing and training your kitten. The difference between a well-socialized and an unsocialized cat will manifest itself throughout your cat's life. This is one of the most important personality building items on the list, and it will affect your cat's personality tremendously. Cats are not born to be social with humans. This is where you can help to mold their personalities by teaching them not to fear people and other animals. Proper socialization and training will help your kitten develop into a well-adjusted adult cat. Start this as early as possible and try to expose your kitten to as many things as you can. This isn't the time to shelter your kitten. The more they consider normal, the more confident and friendly they will be as adult cats. One caveat here though, watch their body language as you expose them to these individual stimuli. If your cat seems uncomfortable with any of it, stop immediately. Respect their boundaries and don't traumatize them. They will trust you more the next time you try to expose them to something new. Number seven, litter box training. Getting your kitten used to the litter box is crucial. Here are some tips to make the process smooth and easy. Consistency is key. Always show your kitten where the litter box is right away. Place them in it after they eat and when they wake up from naps. This helps them understand that the litter box is where they should go. Use positive reinforcement when your kitten uses the litter box correctly. Give them lots of praise and maybe a small treat. Never punish them for accidents. Instead, clean it up quietly and keep encouraging them to use the litter box. Positive reinforcement helps them learn faster and feel more comfortable. Number six, teaching basic commands and behaviors. Let's start with name recognition. If you want your new kitten to recognize their name, use it and use it often, especially during positive interactions like feeding or playing. The repetition will help them learn their name and associate good things with it. When it comes to discouraging bad behaviors like biting and scratching, it's all about redirection. If your kitten starts to bite or scratch, try to redirect their attention to an appropriate toy. If they bite or scratch you, make a sharp noise to startle them a bit, then ignore them for a short time. This will help them understand that biting and scratching are unacceptable behaviors. Number five, grooming and hygiene. Brush your kitten regularly to remove loose fur and prevent matting. Make sure to use a brush that's right for their fur type. Soft bristle brushes work well for short-haired kittens, while long-haired ones might need a comb or a slicker brush. Bathing your kitten is rarely needed, and if they get dirty, you can usually clean them up with a damp cloth. But if a bath is necessary, use a gentle shampoo made specifically for kittens, and ensure that the water is lukewarm. This will make the experience as comfortable as possible for your dirty little fur ball. Trimming your kitten's nails every few weeks is important. It'll keep them from getting too long and causing injury. Use a cat nail clipper, and be careful not to cut too close to the quick which is that sensitive pink area inside the nail. Number four, enrichment and playtime. Provide your kitten with a variety of toys. They love having different options like balls, feather wands, and puzzle toys to keep them entertained. Mix it up to keep things interesting for them. Interactive playtime is also crucial. Spend time each day playing with your kitten. Not only does it help them burn off energy, but it also strengthens the bond between both of you. For their scratching and climbing needs, make sure to have scratching posts around. Place them in areas where you see your kitten likes to scratch. This will satisfy their natural scratching behavior and keep your furniture safe. Additionally, climbing trees or shelves are great for your kitten. This allows them to climb and explore, which is excellent for both their physical and mental stimulation. Number three, monitoring your kitten's health. Keeping an eye on your kitten's overall health is important for catching potential issues early. Here's how to do it. Perform daily checkups. Be watchful of any changes in your kitten's behaviors. If they seem lethargic, aggressive, or are hiding more than usual, they will at least could be signs that something is wrong. Also look out for physical signs of illness like runny eyes or noses, coughing, sneezing, or diarrhea. When it comes to weight monitoring, regular weigh-ins are key. 
Weigh your kitten regularly to make sure that they're gaining the appropriate weight. Rapid weight changes can be a sign of health problems, so follow your vet's advice on what a healthy weight gain should look like for your kitten. Number two, build a strong bond with your kitten. Spend quality time together. Engage in interactive play sessions using toys that mimic prey, like feather wands and laser pointers. This is for your kitten and also helps to strengthen your bond. Additionally, cuddle time is very important. Cuddle and pet your kitten to build trust and affection. These moments of closeness will help your kitten feel secure and loved. Communication is also important. Talk to your kitten in a soft, soothing voice. Even though they won't understand your words, they will recognize your tone and feel comforted by it. Also, listen to your kitten. Pay attention to their vocalizations and body language to understand their needs and feelings. This will help you respond appropriately and strengthen your connection. This is how to build a platform for a lifetime of memories with your cat. Number one, long-term care and considerations. First, you might consider getting pet insurance. It can help cover unexpected medical expenses, making it easier to handle any health issues that arise. Research and choose a plan that fits your budget and meets your needs. Continued regular vet visits are essential. Schedule annual checkups to keep your cat's vaccinations up to date and to monitor their overall health. Don't forget about their dental care either. Pay attention to your cat's teeth and ask your vet if professional cleanings or dental treats are recommended. Lifelong learning and enrichment are also important. Continue training and socializing your cat throughout their life to prevent behavioral issues. Introduce new toys and activities to keep them mentally stimulated and prevent boredom. This ongoing enrichment will help your cat stay engaged and happy. That learning also goes for you too. As cats age, their needs for nutrition and healthcare will change. Make sure that you keep up with these changes so that you can give them the best chances for a very long and healthy life. Well, there you are. Being a cat guardian is very rewarding. By following these tips, you'll set up a foundation for a healthy and happy life for your feline friend. Remember, this is a lifelong journey that you're beginning today with a new baby kitten. And if you're lucky, as I've been, you'll be looking forward to your cat's 20th birthday just like I am with my girl Maxie, who will be 20 next April. Before we go, it's time for another viewer poll. Today's question, is your cat spayed or neutered? Drop down in the comment section below and let us know. We know that we do so much for our feline friends throughout their lives to make sure that they live happy and healthy. But did you know that your cat does things for you that they aren't actually aware of? Watch this video to explain what they do, and I'll see you there.